default channel grouping in Google Analytics 4 is like having a traffic cop that directs your website visitors into different categories based on where they came from. These categories are defined by Google, but they follow a certain logic. <laughs> Hello data people, my name is Robert and this is Clicks Don't Lie and I'm here to help you to understand and analyze data to make better decisions in e-commerce. Now default channel grouping actually has almost 20 different channels and you can check them all from my easy checklist. The link will be in the video description description is just the first one there. In this video, I'll explain the most common channels so you understand how to read your GA4 reports. So let's start with the new definitions that didn't exist in the old GA. First, we have the unassigned. If you are familiar with all the Universal Analytics definitions, then this is the same as other. It's like a catch-all category for traffic that doesn't fit into any other channels I will mention later in this video. You can always try to investigate why the traffic ends up as a unassigned. Here I am in GA4 and I'm under acquisitions and traffic acquisitions sessions. So if I scroll down here, I can see all the sources. Right now I have 10 unassigned. What you can do is actually come to this search box and type unassigned and then hit enter and it will now filter out just by this unassigned channel. Now we can click on this little plus and for example, search for source and session source slash medium if we select that one and as you can see one came from qr code and that's why it didn't know what to do with it and it just put it in an assigned you can also try to do the same thing here for the secondary dimension you could search for example landing page and maybe that can give you some idea what's going on where are they landing and why this is happening so here you can now try to figure out if this gives any clues Another new channel is the cross-network channel. Basically, these users arrived at your site via ads that appear on a variety of networks. This is basically something you set in Google Ads account. Next, we have organic search channel. So visitors who find your website through search engines like Google, Bing, and Yahoo. Then we have the direct traffic. This includes visitors who type your website URL directly into, your, into their browser or have bookmarked your site. That said, it also includes traffic from any source where GA4 can detect referral information. This creates a bit of a black box for us in, in when we're looking at the reports. We don't actually know where these people came from because some of the traffic will be direct, but some will be traffic from text messages, incognito browsers, and private social platforms. And there are also browser plugins that basically show you always as a direct traffic. So if you go to any website, you're always being shown as direct. Referral traffic is like a bridge connecting different sites. When another site links to yours and sends visitors to your way, they fall into this channel. It's like having a friendly referral from a friend. Then we have the social channel. It's where traffic from platforms like Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram gets grouped. It can also make sense. And organic video is just traffic from YouTube, Vimeo, TikTok, and other video platforms. So if I click here on this link, that is organic video. The email channel is all about people that came through your email newsletter or maybe someone else's email newsletter, but basically something to do with emails. Next is paid search. These are visitors who clicked on paid ads in search engines like Google or Bing. The display channel captures traffic from those eye-catching banners and images you've created for your display advertising such as Google Display Network or other ad networks. Usually those are the banners you see all over the internet where you have banners on uh, like news sites and stuff like that. Now you know the most common default channel groups, but without understanding how to analyze the data, you won't be able to improve your site. That's why you should watch this video next if you want to learn how to analyze channel group report and extract valuable insights from it. 